Welcome, welcome, welcome to my art channel. My name is Luna Smith and today I will show you how to draw an apple using Photoshop. Let's go to the bottom right corner of the screen and find the icon layer. Let's click on it. We just created a layer one. Let's double click on it and name it color. Let's do it again. Click on the layer icon, double click on it and let's name it sketch. Let's create another layer. Outline. Great. Now, let's go to the sketch layer, one click on it, and now let's go to the left side of the screen and find a brush tool. Let's click on it. Now, let's find a color picker tool. Here, you can use either a mouse to choose whatever color you like, or we can use RGB system. R stands for red, G stands for green, and B stands for blue. If you will put zero for red, zero for green, and zero for blue, it will give you a pure black color. If you will put 255, 255, 255 instead, it would give you a pure white color. Any other color has value between 0 and 255. Please feel free to play around and see what color you like the best. And then let's click on OK. Now let's go to the top of the screen and let's make sure that opacity is on 100%. Let's also select which brush tool you want to use. Let's select the fourth dot. Let's change also the size of the brush tool to 7 pixels. Great! Now we are ready to draw. You can either use a mouse or a pen if you have a touch screen. If you select a mouse, To remove the last movement, let's press Ctrl and Z at the same time. To remove more than one movement, let's press Ctrl, Z and Alt at the same time. Now we have a clean canvas and we are ready to draw an apple. Let's go to the right side and press on Outline layer. Let's go to the left side of the screen and on the bar tool, let's find a shape tool. There are many tools to choose from. We would like to choose an eclipse tool. You can draw either a circle or an eclipse with the same tool. Let's choose an eclipse. Let's go to the middle of the screen, click and drag. Make sure that your eclipse is quite big. Now let's go to the outline layer and press the right click on your mouse. Let's go to the very top and press blending options, find the stroke and tick. Press on it and let's change the size to one pixel. Press OK. 
let's go to the left side of the screen and choose the color picker and choose any color you like it doesn't matter at this point let's find a bucket tool click on it and click in the middle of the eclipse let's go again to the left side and we have to find one more tool it will be the fourth tool from the top it's called magic wand tool let's click on it and click in the middle of a clip fantastic now let's find eraser tool let's click on a little triangle there and let's choose the last tool there let's click in the middle of the eclipse and press ctrl d fantastic the hard part is over let's go to the left side of the screen first tool click on the eclipse ctrl t and then you can drag your eclipse all around let's put it in the middle of the screen now we want this eclipse look more like an apple so let's press on your mouse the right click make sure that you are on outline layer and let's find wrap now we can use the small dots to change the shape of eclipse you can just move it around until we will be happy let's make bottom a little bit more flat and a little bit more narrow okay we're slowly getting there a little bit more round When you are happy with your shape, just press enter. We are done with outline layer. Let's move to the sketch layer. Let's go to the left side and select a brush tool. Let's double check if our size of the brush tool is on seven pixels. And if we selected the fourth dot, let's double check our opacity if it's on 100%. And let's go to color picker. Let's set up our color to black. You can either use a mouse or you can use RGB system and put 0, 0, 0. press OK. Great! Now we are ready to sketch. You can use a mouse or your pen. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you are unhappy, you can always try again by clicking Ctrl Z and again and again and again. Let's also draw a leaf. Let's make the canvas a little bit bigger by pressing ctrl plus it will scale the canvas and we can now easily draw a leaf maybe a little bit bigger one great and now ctrl minus to back to the normal size of the canvas our apple is not center let's click on the background layer 
and let's go on a crop tool and let's just drag a little bit the top yeah that looks perfect let's go back to the sketch layer and let's choose eraser tool let's press on this little tiny triangle to choose the tool we want we don't want any more magic eraser let's go to the top and let's change the size of our eraser tool so we can easily erase all the line we don't need remember ctrl plus to make your canvas closer to you bigger so it's easier and more clean to delete all the lines we don't want we want to erase this line too so let's go to outline layer and erase that from the outline Control minus to go back to normal size of canvas our apple look fantastic great job everyone let's go to a color layer on the left side select color picker and choose a color of an apple a red one green one yellow orange whatever you like I will go with a red color when you find a correct shade just click OK now let's find a bucket tool just beneath the razor tool let's make sure we click on paint brush tool on the very top let's make sure that we have a tick for all layers and that we are on collect layer let's click on an apple voila now our apple is red a little bit paint here and there and now let's choose a brown color one click and let's make our leaf green fantastic let's add some shadowing and highlights to our apple go to a color picker select a slightly lighter green let's maybe change it to a little bit more yellowish color go to a brush tool let's change from a sharp line to a blurry one so from the fourth to a fifth dot let's change the size to a slightly bigger one and opacity to around 30% now go to a magic wand tool select a leaf and to a brush tool now we are ready to draw some highlights fantastic now let's pick the brown color on our apple by clicking on a six tool from the top let's click on color we want to choose and go to a color picker let's choose a darker shade go to a magic wand tool click on the area we want to add some shadow brush tool and let's add some shadow here again let's pick the color we want to change let's go for a slightly lighter shade 
brush tool and let's add some highlight. Fantastic! Now let's do it to our red color. Let's select the red color. Let's go to our magic wand tool and select a red apple. Let's change a shadow for a darker one. Let's change the brush tool to a bigger one as the area we're working with is bigger. And let's draw some shadow a little bit here and here. I think this is a little bit too dark. So let's go to a color picker and let's choose a slightly lighter shade. Fantastic. And let's do some highlights. A little bit of here, a little bit of here. Let's change the size just slightly. And let's do a little bit of reflection just here. And a little bit of here. Great, now let's choose the area here with a magic wand. And let's go to a darker shade. Let's do a little bit of shadowing here. Let's change the opacity to make a little bit more visible. And a little bit of shadowing there. Let's make sure that is selected area with a magic wand. Fantastic! We almost done. Let's create one more layer shadow. Let's drag it below the color, so it's beneath an apple. Let's call it shadow. Let's go to our color picker and select dark gray. Select brush tool. Let's make sure that it's blurry. And let's change the size. Let's make sure that we are on a correct layer. Let's change the size for a bigger one. Let's change opacity to a higher, like 47%. And let's do some shadow. Fantastic. Now, the last thing I want to do is to change the outline of an apple. Now, is everything has a black outline. Uh, let's change it so it reflects the color or actual apple. Let's go to an outline layer. Right click to blending option. Click on stroke. Choose the color. And now instead of clicking on the color picker, just go outside and choose the color on an apple you want to make an outline. Perfect. Click OK. And now let's change outline on this area. So we have to go to a sketch layer. Let's click on this mask here. That will ensure that we just will draw on this thin line, the outline of the sketch. Let's go to a brush tool change opacity to 100%, go to a fourth dot instead of fifth, a sharp one, and let's change the size to a smaller size. So it will be easier for us to draw. Ctrl plus to make the canvas bigger. 
let's make sure that you are on sketch layer and just draw. Perfect. You can see that it's a little bit line there. Let's take a razor and just clean that up. Perfect. Now let's choose the brown color with a drop tool. Let's back to our brush and let's make our outline brown. Perfect. Again, let's choose the color, click on brush and let's change the outline of our leaf. Now, control minus and voila, that is your first apple in Photoshop. It looks amazing and it took just 20 minutes. Well done everyone! I hope you had a great fun drawing your first digital apple. Please share with me your creation in the comment below or on my Patreon page. The link in the description. Please share, like, subscribe and I will see you in the next lesson. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.